Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you'll know how to deploy a Portainer instance using Docker, configure SSL with traffic for secure access, and connect it to other servers running Docker, Kubernetes, or Podman. This setup will give you a unified control center for managing all your containers regardless of the platform. Let's get started. Before running Portainer, make sure you have traffic configured. I have a separate video covering this in detail which you can find in the description if you want to dive deeper into how traffic works. Here, I'll just quickly show you my configuration. In etc. traffic, I have a file called traffic.yml with the necessary configuration for SSL certificates and other settings traffic needs. Then, in opt traffic, I have a Docker Compose file for the traffic container. Make sure you have the traffic network created, then go ahead and start the container. Great. Now, let's go into opt and create a directory called portainer and a docker compose file. You can get the base content for this file from the repository linked in the description. The only thing you need to modify here is the host rule. Set this to the domain or subdomain you plan to use for portainer access. Other than that, you can keep everything else the same. Once you've made that change, save and close the file. Now we're ready to start up the portainer container. If everything was set up correctly, you can go to the web address specified in the Docker Compose file. The first time you access it, portainer will prompt you to set up a password for the admin account. Once logged in, you'll see that Portainer automatically adds your local environment. Here, I already have three stacks. Since these containers were created outside of Portainer, you'll have limited management options. You can perform basic actions like starting, stopping, and restarting containers, checking logs, or opening the console to run commands. You can also modify network settings or remove the containers entirely. However, if you want full control over a stack, you'll need to create it directly within Portainer. To do this, click on Add Stack in the top right corner. Here, you can paste the contents of a Docker Compose file, upload it directly, or even pull from a repository. I'll keep access control enabled for this stack, limiting management to administrators only, and then click deploy the stack. Now, as you can see, we have total control over this new stack with no restrictions on management. You might wonder where Portainer stores the Docker Compose file for this stack. If you check Portainer's Docker Compose configuration, you'll see I've mapped a volume to the current directory. This makes it easier to view and access Portainer's data directly on the server. For instance, you'll find the Docker Compose files in the Compose directory. Now, back to the dashboard. Let's say you want to connect an additional server. To do this, we'll need to add a new environment. Click on Add Environment and choose the type of server. Here, I'll select Docker Standalone for my other server and then click Start Wizard. Portainer will generate this command to run on the server you want to connect. Make sure port 9001 is open on that server for the connection. If port 9001 is restricted, you can configure another external port. Just ensure the internal port remains 9001. Next, enter the name, server IP, and port, and click Connect. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see the new environment on the home page. Another great feature of Portainer is its authentication flexibility. Besides the basic internal authentication, Portainer Community Edition also supports external OAuth providers. For example, if you want to integrate with GitLab, 
create an OAuth application on GitLab, then add the details here in Portainer. On the login page, users will have the option to log in with their GitLab account. And there you have it. In just a few steps, we set up Portainer, secured it with SSL using traffic, and connected it to another server. This setup is a powerful way to manage your entire container infrastructure from one place. Thanks for watching and see you next time.